test today and we're gonna test go the goggles here it's kind of a getting sunny out it was a little a little cloudy this morning but start with the clear lens which I usually like clear lenses because you can see the different shades of dirt which is where you want to find grip you know that's how you find grip is the different uh, wetness of dirt on the track and I feel like clear lenses are the best with that. that's why I race when I race cars and trucks I always use a clear lens but Today we're gonna try a uh, iridium like mirrored lens because they look cool and we'll see if they actually are any better as far as seeing the track or um, basically kind of calming your eyes down to where it isn't so bright to where you can focus more on the track or if it changes and makes it worse, right? Because for me, clear lenses give you the real perception of where the where the uh, traction is on the track. So go try it out here at Glen Helen and see. And if you have a product that is pretty cool, somewhat interesting, uh, send it to me and we'll test it. We'll do some product tests. I think it's pretty fun to try people's products out and I'll give you the honest answer. Hey, is, it, is this a good product? Should you buy it? Or hey, don't waste your money on it and don't buy it. So if you got a cool product you want us to test, send it over to me and I uh, will test it out. like this track has like white dirt like dark dirt like uh, darker dirt where it's wet it gets really even though it's watered and looks good and sand it looks like sand you go to Glen Helen is notorious for uh, flying into a turn it looks sandy and it's slick underneath it's hard packed with sand on top it's really I always struggled with going fast here because I grew up in the Midwest where the dirt was always like farm dirt real tacky dark soil here it's like rocky, hard base with sand on top. It takes a lot of bike skill to be fast here, um, to glide and keep momentum across that dirt. So anyway, the clear lenses obviously get to see everything for what it is. It's sunny out now. So these, here, take a look. So this is more of a red mirrored lens. It's like always kind of a struggle changing lenses, but they made it pretty cool. It's a little pop system here, and the lens just pops right out. Set it in. 
I was always kind of worried, like, what is this really going to hold the lens in? You don't want the lens popping out and cutting your face with your grass, but you just pop, you just push the book. That's it, it's in. That's how easy it is. Remember when you used to have to, like, pop a lens in? It was a nightmare. So 100%'s got it pretty dialed. So let's check this out. All right, now we're tinted. And I can look into the sun better with these, although I don't recommend looking into the sun. All right, well, let's go out and try out the goggles here. I already feel like it's better. It's kind of calmed down my uh, vision. It made me more relaxed, like a yoga vibe. eyesight like instead of everything being so bright it really has I'm gonna say the only way I can describe it is it's calmed down my vision like to where everything my eyes aren't fighting to like dim the light and that's the best way I can put it I don't know how to put it the only time I'd say no is riding at night right at night you're gonna want a clear I feel a clear lens and we can test that because some guys run yellow lenses at night because they don't like the brightness of the light. Um, the glare, that glare does suck. It, your, your eyes have to adjust to it. Your eyes are a badass, a badass, um, a, a, how they work is like, dude, we'll never understand it totally how they work, but they're so intricate. But assisting, helping your eyes with tinted lenses, I think is the right thing to do. And if I had a choice, I'd run the mirrored lenses. I know it sounds maybe kind of cheesy, but hey, anything to make riding a little more uh, enjoyable, I'd say, the better, right? It's already enjoyable, but if you can make it even better, then cool. That's what a lot of products are all about, right? So I'm gonna go. There's a little bit of burn left over there. There's a little bit of burn left over there, and I think we gotta finish it off. <laughs> No, these are the new ones that just came out, but they wanted us to do pictures with them and stuff. It's fine. Right. Too late. There you go. You got goggles that aren't even released yet. Yep. I signed. I signed it right here. Yeah. Rad. Thanks for doing this, guys. Let's go. Super cool. You did a swap with you. Yeah, thanks. That was a fresh swap. Hey, I usually never get nothing back. <laughs> I know. Only thing I showed you with Eli Tomac, that was it. Yeah. Sweet, thank you. So that was a test between clear lens and 
mirrored lens with my 100% goggles. I think you know, all, all goggle brands make them, you know, so I think it kind of goes universal across the board. And uh, so let me know what else you want us to test next. Someone said they want Hayden or someone, they wanted to learn how to scrub. And I'm like, I'm probably not the best guy to teach that. Uh, I'll have to let Hayden teach that one. So, anyway, all right, so that was today at Glen Helen. See ya.